Well, continuing coverage in Palestine and what police there are now calling a homicide investigation. 46-year-old Ricky Taylor disappeared last Wednesday night. Yeah, detectives found her body Friday in Houston County. That discovery on County Road 2120, which runs from Grapeland to Latexo. The medical examiner says Taylor died from a gunshot wound to the head. CBS 19's Michael Aaron is live in Palestine, where people are undoubtedly shaken by this news. Michael. Yeah, Tashar, and adding to those fears, very little in terms of updates here at the Palestine Police Department today. A spokesperson just telling us that this is an active homicide investigation, and tonight those who knew Taylor are remembering the woman they say could light up a room. Pine Country 93.5, welcome in everyone. Uh, it is On Monday, a void fills the studios of 93.5 Pine Country Radio. And you ask yourself, how do you fill it? I'm as he said goodbye to Ricky Taylor in the parking lot last Wednesday, news director Gary Richards had no idea it would be the last time they talked. See you tomorrow was the last thing I said, not thinking that anything like this could ever happen. And now she's gone. Gone from this desk where she handled billing, bookkeeping, and greeted visitors. Most everyone who knew her loved her and thought a lot of her, and now all that's gone. Now how do you replace it? That's the big question. Questions asked here and throughout the Palestine community. Police say Taylor, a mom of three, was last heard from Wednesday night. Detectives located her truck the next day and on Friday in Houston County, they discovered her body. Most people are just shocked like we are here at the radio station and really don't know what to do right now. Richard says his colleague was active in her church and several local charities. You want to know why, number one, why would you do this to somebody like Ricky? What is, you know, what could motivate somebody to do something like this? It's just mind boggling for me. The person responsible for her death not yet identified. Richards and so many others here wait as investigators work. We'd love to know the answers to all of those questions and hopefully that'll happen. Answers he hopes will bring closure to a community left rattled. And the Texas Rangers are assisting with this investigation here. Palestine PD, obviously aware of community fears. They're asking people to just bear with detectives as they keep working leads. They tell us that more information will be released as the investigation allows it. Tashara. All right. Thank you, Michael. Anyone with information on the case should contact Palestine Police. Their number on the bottom of your screen, or it should be in a second, 903-729-2254.